Hey, I'm Josh Reimer, and this is the Sassy Scoop, where I review a viral video or share a top 10 list with you. And it is time to get our bodies ready for the summer. So in order to help you do that in a healthy way, I'd like to share with you this list of 10 of the most fattening foods that you might be eating. Mmm, pecan pie. Really though, it should be called butter and corn syrup pie because there's often more of those two things in it than pecans, which is why it can be up to 20 grams of fat per slice. And you know you want to have two slices. I sure do. I actually cut out beef and pork from my diet years ago and now I just eat chicken and fish. Why? Well, we're talking up to almost 40 grams of fat per serving when looking at something like a ribeye steak. I could have two pieces of pecan pie for that. Who doesn't love a good fondue? Anybody who cares about their health, that's who. I feel like everybody who watches this is really gonna hate me for ruining all their favorite foods. But honestly, take a bunch of cheese and dip pieces of bread into it. Pretty self-explanatory. I know I already gave steak a hard time, but how about ribs? Well, we're looking at about 20 grams of fat per portion, but at some restaurants, one order can pass 100 grams of fat because of the size and the sauce. Now we're talking an entire pecan pie. We Canadians love our poutine. French fries covered in cheese curds smothered in gravy? Uh, yeah. Oh, one order can have 65 grams of fat in it? Uh, no. I love Quebec, but if they ever choose to actually leave Canada, they should probably take that stuff with them. Before I stopped eating beef and pork, I used to love me a corn dog. I actually used to go to the convenience store after the gym and treat myself to one. Little did I know I was treating myself to 25 grams of fat. No amount of running on the treadmill was gonna make up for that. Mmm, a tuna melt. Hey, fish is good for you, right? We'll add a few tablespoons of mayo, some cheese slices, and of course, bread heated on a pan with butter, and we're looking at about 70 grams of fat. Honestly, that pecan pie seems pretty low fat now. I hate to keep going on about beef, but how can I leave out cheeseburgers when the average one at a fast food restaurant contains almost 25 grams of fat, but at some places it can go up to over 100 grams? I'll take one of those and a heart attack to go, please. Here's one you probably won't hate me for, foie gras, which is duck or goose liver fattened up so it's rich and creamy and almost 45% fat. Never tried it, don't think I ever will. And finally, nuts. These things can actually be up to 50% fat, but the difference here is that they're a healthy fat. They're really high in monounsaturated fats, which is actually really good for you. So just put down the burger and have a handful of these and your cardiologist can thank me later. Thanks for watching the Sassy Scoop. If you have an idea of a top 10 list you'd like to see me do, let me know on Facebook or Twitter. I'm Josh Reimer, and I'll see you next time with either another top 10 list or a viral video review. Bye.